In 2021, Demario Davis and Pete Werner both ranked inside the top 10 for PFF grade among linebackers, and the Saints defense was stacked at all three levels, but the linebackers were a clear strength every week. And with Demario Davis approaching 34 years old and Pete Werner entering his second year in the NFL, I want to highlight some of their strengths that I think are really similar and why I think Pete Werner will be ready to take over as linebacker one in a few years. Pete Werner and Demario Davis are two of the most reliable linebackers when it comes to gap integrity, and this allows the Saints to use a lot of gap exchanges and blitzes because their linebackers are so secure in their run fits. On this play, the Seahawks are running split zone, and the Saints are running a cross dog run blitz, so the nose tackle slides over to the B gap and tries to force a cutback. Demario Davis replaces him in the A gap, and Pete Werner knifes through and gets the tackle. This sort of thing takes advantage of less athletic offensive linemen that can't really adjust their angles on the fly. So before the snap, the center has a good angle on Pete Warner to come off this double team, but he's not quick enough to adjust for him slanting through. On this play, the Cowboys are running power, and again, the Saints are running a gap exchange. So the defensive end crashes inside, and Davis and Warner fill the gaps in between these two tight ends. Again, this twist creates a difficult angle for the tight end on Demario Davis, and then he does a really good job pressing inside and setting the edge, but at the same time preventing the tight end from widening out this gap. And then Pete Werner does such a good job with his footwork as he's flowing from the backside and doesn't let Zach Martin get his hands on him. Here's another example of a similar thing from Pete Warner. Watch how he shuffles his feet and keeps himself square with the line of scrimmage. But as this pin pull play is developing and new gaps are being created on the outside, he's able to move quickly enough to stay in front. If you watch the Saints defense, you'll almost never see their linebackers get beat to the outside. They do such a good job of setting the edge and sealing off running lanes. And it's not because Pete Warner and Demario Davis are especially fast. It's because they know exactly where they're supposed to be, so they're playing a step ahead of the offense. I was also really impressed with the way that the Saints linebackers engaged with the blocks. So right here, the Giants are running power. Right guard Will Hernandez is pulling from the backside, but Pete Werner gets there early and he engages with the block with a low center of gravity. So he's able to force a stalemate when he's at a massive weight disadvantage. With Demario Davis, it's impossible not to notice how violently he stacks and sheds. There were multiple plays last year where he completely blew up screen passes just by pushing the lead blocker five yards back, but he also has a great understanding of angles and how the offense is trying to attack him, and so he understands that sometimes the best way to engage with a block is to avoid it. The Saints were dominant defending screen passes last season, and their linebackers were a huge part of that. Not only do they have outstanding play recognition, but they both take such good angles in open space, they rarely miss tackles or over pursue. And that helps you so much if you're a defense like New Orleans that plays so many too high coverages. You're gonna be giving offenses a lot of good looks to throw screens and RPOs. And so your linebackers are gonna to need to be able to defend sideline to sideline. And then Demario Davis is known as a really good cover linebacker, but I was really impressed with that aspect of Pete Warner's game as well. I'll be interested to see him in a bigger role this season, but he couldn't ask for a better person to learn under than Demario Davis. The one thing that really stands out as a key difference between Demario Davis and Pete Werner is that Davis offers so much as a pass rusher, and not only as a blitzer, but also as a QB spy. He can drop back into coverage and still keep eyes on the quarterback and keep him from breaking contain. I don't really see Pete Werner as having a great pass rushing skill set, but he does a lot of things better than you would expect based on his athletic profile, so we'll see if he can develop that.